Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, here for my second installment of How to Paint a Motorcycle Cheap. Um, I have one video that's um, How to Paint a Motorcycle under $20. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more extensive. I'm actually going to paint my motorcycle um, from a glossy black to a flat black. As you can see, I have all my parts off on my bike here. Um, have some of them down here ready. I've already somewhat prepped them. Um, so obviously that's step number one. You're going to want to take off all your parts. Um, I guess you wouldn't necessarily have to, but um, you definitely, uh, if you want to get a better job done, uh, it's a lot better to start off with the bike, actually uh, everything taken apart. Um, so first things first, um, starting with the tank. Um, the tank is a little bit, uh, a little bit complicated, but it's also an easy part too because it is one of the metal pieces on the bike. Um, metal seems to just take the paint a little bit better and if you know what you're doing it's going to turn out really nice. Uh, especially when I'm doing a flat black it's going to turn out really good. Um, on some of my plastic parts I'm going to have a plastic adhesion promoter. You can see I already somewhat prepped these. Um, what you're going to need for a project like this is going to be um, obviously some tape. Um, I have some uh, alcohol um, just to kind of prep down the parts and get them cleaned out. Um, the reason I'm painting my motorcycle is because it fell over, so I have some uh, filler or bondo, as you will, um, and I also have the paint. Um, um, I have a plastic adhesion promoter, um, so that's going to do is just put that on the plastic part so that it sticks to the plastic a lot better. Um, I have my uh, acrylic enamel. This is a uh, somewhat of a gloss uh, flat. So um, that's kind of a popular color that's out right now is a, is a flat black and then also have some scuff pads. Um, I also have a sander. Um, if you don't have a sander, you don't need one. It's not a necessary uh, product to have uh, to paint, but all in all, it uh, makes things a lot easier. Um, so um, first thing you want to do is just get the, the parts down to um, as low as you can stand. If you just want to scuff it, if you don't have to do some bondo work like I do, or uh, you don't want to make sure that it's all the way down to the metal, that's fine. Just scuff it down, start off with the scuff pad, and then just give it a good scuff. Um, all you really need to do is just make sure that the, there's no shininess left uh, on what you're going to paint. Um, otherwise, what can happen is it will all flake off. And that's exactly what happened to my bike um, when I brought it to the pressure washer uh, just to give it a good wash before I painted it. Um, I brought it to the car wash and um, took the pressure washer to it and all the paint just came right off. So that's one thing that you can uh, kind of just look out for. You want to make sure that you get down far enough um, and then you're going to want to prime it. Uh, for me, I'm just going to use my uh, plastic adhesion promoter as like a primer and, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, bondo work here. Uh, first things first, I'm going to clean the area that I want to put the bondo on. Uh, just have some paper towel here and my alcohol. Um, so just put a little bit of that on there. On my hand. <laughs> clean the area up nice. So, next part. is gonna be, um, I have some of the Bondo here, and all I'm using is uh, some of this 3M Platinum Plus filler. Um, so just have a little styrofoam mixer here that I'm putting some of the Bondo onto the, onto my cardboard here. I don't really need anything special. Um, the only thing I recommend is just having a card. Okay, 
So, next part is you're gonna get a little bit of this filler. Um, you get this thing, this little part of filler for this entire can of Bondo. So you don't really need that much. The more you put in here, the more that it's gonna harden, or the quicker that it's gonna harden up on you. So I'm only gonna use like maybe that much um, for this amount. And then we're just gonna mix this together. And that's where you get your nice kind of bluish color for your Bondo. Turn it green. Alright, so mix that up nice. And then, depending on how much hardener you put in, depends on how much time you have until it really hardens. So, what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to just take my little ghetto card here. And I'm going to scoop some of this up. And I'm going to put it on my tank. Obvious part is you just wanna you wanna make sure you have enough so that it will continue the same shape that you're going for. So, and you can do this multiple times. So you can let this dry, and then you can sand it. One good layer. two times, possibly three, depending on how well you want it to sink in. You can do this for any little spots that you have. I'm going to have a couple, so make sure that this is thick enough. Okay, back to business. Um, we have the Bondo is nicely dry now, so you can see that all the little pieces here are all dried up. Um, what I have now is some 220. You can also use 320, it'll work just fine, but um, what I'm going to do now is just sand this down uh, so that it's all flush with the, the rest of the, the tank. Um, the idea is basically you just want a little bit to cover up the spots that um, we're dented in a little bit, so. Okay, so next part with Bondo. A little spray um, spot so that when I sand down I'll be able to see how far down I'm sanding. Uh, this really helps you out and, um, if you want to make it real nice and flat. Doesn't have to be a lot, just enough so that you can kind of tell the difference in colors. So spray that, let it dry for a few minutes. Okay, so now that I have the spray paint on there, just been kind of working at it a little bit to see um, what's going to fade first. So you can just kind of wipe it down and then sand it. And then you can see which spots are still going to need a little bit more love. Um, like you can see that there's some black right on the edges here. You want to keep on sanding that until you get it down to a nice level amount. And you can always kind of feel it too. Just feel it and see how. Um, how many little crevices there are. Like I can feel a little bit of a spot there still, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. Okay, 
Okay, so we have day two going on here. Um, just have a little bit of alcohol and water in this little spray bottle here. Just gonna kind of spray down uh, the tank here so that I can get it cleaned off. Just since I had it sitting overnight in my garage, not exactly the best, uh, cleanest place in the world. <laughs> um, I did have my garage closed, but throughout the video, I'm gonna have the light coming in so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, just clean her down nice. And I already primed up the everything, did the bondo, so she's pretty well good to go. Um, hardest part about um, spray painting is just making sure that you do it in a, a nice orderly fashion. So when you buy spray paint, you want to make sure that you have a good one and has a nice nozzle. This one's going to make it so that uh, the spray gives you a nice vertical um, spray. So if you can see, when I'm going to spray it, it's going to come out kind of like how a professional spray can would. So. When you do this, you want to make sure that you go left and right like how I did, but you're going to start off on the side a little bit. So you're going to start spray and go off to the side. You don't want to start in the middle and then go to the side because it's going to be more, there's going to be a thicker spot on the left hand side than there is on the right hand side. So make sure that um, you're getting a nice steady stream across. The next trick is you don't want to just go left and right. The next part you want to make sure that you go up and down as well. So, For the first coat, I like to just make sure that some of the parts that you don't see so well are going to actually get a decent amount. So you don't have to have a perfect, nice stream. The idea is that once you get a, a nice coat on there, you're going to get in there nice enough so that it actually lays down. It looks a little bit wet. The um, thing is you don't want to do too much, so there's a nice in-between and um, too much. You know, so you want that Goldilocks zone where it's not too, not too light, and you don't want it to be too heavy so that it'll run. Um, so then, like as you can see, certain spots are a little bit wetter, so it's going to take them a little bit longer to dry. Um, but you can just keep on moving on to other parts of the, the bike or uh, other parts. Um, other than that, just uh, making sure that. Um, you know what you're doing. If you need to practice like even on a piece of cardboard or on a piece that you're not actually going to be using on your car or on your motorcycle, maybe you have like an extra piece of plastic laying around or like a, a piece of metal that you can practice on or something, um, just buy a cheap spray, spray can and you can kind of try it out and see how your skills are. Um, but I definitely recommend getting one that has a nice nozzle on it. That'll make a world of difference. Um, you can even like steal them off other ones and put them on to other spray cans. Um, and it will help you out a lot um, just because um, if you have one that just shoots in like a circular area you're not going to get a good um, a good spray at all it's going to be almost impossible to get a good job going um, so that's pretty much it as far as spray painting especially for a tank um, I'm just, I'm just going to keep on doing this I'll probably show, up, show some pictures of the, the 
finished product of the bike, but as far as actually painting and doing the process, um, this video has pretty much gone through it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me underneath. Um, I also have another video called um, How to Paint a Motorcycle in less than, for Less Than $20. Uh, that one's really simple, basic, um, and this one's a little bit more elaborate uh, with Bondo and how to uh, do a different process. I use a little bit more expensive paint, um, so this project probably cost me around uh, under $100, um, but if you only had to do a few parts on your bike, you could definitely get away with this for less than $50. Um, so, um, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Thanks.